Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk in Truth Radio Podcast and Senior Pastor of Walk in Truth Christian Fellowship Church. I want to briefly discuss for this Real Talk weekend because I'm going to preach on it tomorrow. So please uh, go to the Walk in Truth Christian Fellowship YouTube page and subscribe. Or you can find Walk in Truth Radio on your favorite podcast platform. I want to briefly talk about... uh, a passage of scripture that's in Hebrews chapter 9 and it talks about as a man is appointed once to die then there's the judgment and as I sat and drank some coffee on a Friday from Thursday to Thursday and uh, I began to work on my sermon which is coming out of Romans chapter 6 about what we yield our members to We have an appointment with God. And that appointment cannot be altered or put off by anyone but God. The day you're supposed to meet God is the day you will meet Him. Now, between the time of your salvation, or if you never get saved, that appointment is written in time. You're not going to get a call from an angel or a doctor and they're going to tell you that your appointed time with God has been postponed because God is sick or God went on vacation. Your appointed time with God is set. It is guaranteed. Now, how you choose to live out your life is up to you. Do you think about the fact that one day you're going to walk out that door get in that car catch the train ride your bicycle go have lunch with someone and then that day may be the day the hour the moment to which your appointment time comes to fruition meaning it becomes a manifestation it becomes your time to meet the maker Recording now. And the, hey, this is the most Dave interesting Walker, part Christian about this Church, appointment, unlike Walker other appointments, podcast, even though I we know we have it, with me, we don't know the actual day in the minute. Author so every day that we live, great we do God, know that we get closer we to that appointed the time. Day. We are fired yeah. up the day. We thank God now, our decisions God and the choices that we make on this side will greatly determine how that appointment will go. Again, because I think it needs to be really exposed. Our decision church, to walk church, with God, to be sanctified by God, to be saved by God, to live a righteous and holy life will determine you know, you how that, that appointment Say hi to everybody. will go for us. You know, you think about it. So, so it's, it's, it's one of those things where as we will either be judged intimacy, guilty you know, two people and be saved by the inoculation the of God so saving us and, and, and us deciding to walk with Jesus God while we're here you, you look at on this side father, or you look the prognosis you look at as your wife, is a you judgment know, your mother, of and, complete and separation what death from God. This guy, uh, Jimmy, Even the heathen is that's on this side him. that doesn't give his life to God. You know what I'm saying? This is not so different. So we'll strange. see that God was very gracious and patient and you have with these him. Name brand okay. He's being patient with you. That the, that we and the longer you, know, you decide are, to reject him, put them there and we find out that they have been the greater the opportunity for you to have an appointment that you really don't want. Uh-huh. Our Nobody I know our has ever told me our men. they want and to go to hell so as it damaged. is described and in the scriptures. In a way. They have been Nobody, so great. even the atheist doesn't want to go and when Jimmy said, to the when hell he started talking about the that's story, described in the Bible but everybody would love to go to yeah, some I version of heaven that's either in their imagination you know, this or in scripture <laughs> but the, you know, what determines where your ticket like, is punched wow. is your decisions you, on this side like, again, they get mad at me as I've you. lived out my life I've when made say, very bad decisions these rat hole churches and I have to live out the fruit of them while I'm here. How they affect me will determine I if mean, it's worthwhile or not that I, mean, I made the bad I mean, decisions. How much what I mean by this is, 
when you come to Christ, he doesn't eliminate the bad decisions you make. What happens is those decisions based upon your newness in life in Christ become a testimony of how good God is. It becomes the Romans 2 testimony. Don't you know the goodness of God should lead you to repentance and change minds? And it's through the changing of your mind and looking back at your decision, you realize that it's not about the race, the color, the creed, or the riches. It's about the grace of God, that unmerited favor that's given to all mankind to give them plenty of opportunity to decide. As we're studying in Joshua, it becomes a conclusion that God, through showing them things in nature and showing them great miracles, gave all the all the Canaanites that live in the land of Canaan an opportunity to repent, just as Rahab did with Jericho. God showed them signs and wonders that pointed to him, the God of Israel. It even says they heard about this God of Israel that delivered them from Egypt. So the relationship may not be, you're not necessarily the tribe of, of Israel, but you've heard about the God, the God, the God of the Israelites, which is the God of the universe, that have done great things. And he doesn't want to keep you out. He wants his favor towards his people and his ability to do as he pleased to help you make up your mind in turn because every man, no matter what race, creed, or color, is appointed once to die. And then there's the judgment. And if you are blessed, graced, and favored to walk in salvation with God, realize that the day you get saved, your walk of justification is over but the journey of sanctification begins and it will end up in glorification and your experience with God as you walk with God towards your destined appointment is truly up to you you can decide to give your members over to unrighteousness and sin, it's almost like the cold blue silence thing which leads the, to death it's a, it's in the church. Like, or I you can decide now, all wear black robes. to give it's like once you, you get to that your level, members your mind thing, whereas, you know, all that again, you are out of context, don't over touch to my righteousness my prophet, no harm. which leads they to this eternal life God, if they're abusing people, God has been fashion. setting apart and, sanctifying the world since its creation just read it that goes out God will be even said, Nebuchadnezzar want to call it, became his servant. Willing, like a, There's you know, nothing that escapes no pressure, God's you know, sanctifying you know, not right, power you know, it's yeah. consensual, to serve him mm-hmm. as he pleases. Or Some position, of the vessels will be know, created for dishonor and, and others will be created for honor. You into a but even the vessels that are deplorable, despicable, downright nasty always end up can repent in the cult and be saved. Spiritual abuse always Nebuchadnezzar had a choice. He had seen God. hundred percent of the time. But never repented. Uh-huh. Because that's where they how long will you control walk you. in ignorance? Not only have I controlled your mind, how much does God I have to show you? Yeah. Is it you your arrogance along, and ignorance and your attitude and be of, appointed, of, promoted, of ego uh, uh, that up, you don't want you to, to admit do what I that say. you're a sinner. We're not even go with you don't want to come to the grips there. that even the though you may have a carnal, great, church, and I'm say superficial, worldly life, if that you, want to see you know in your heart of heart that you're not right before God, that your whole goal is to have more and be rich and live well. But you know what? One of the richest men in the world it didn't benefit him none. To have all those riches. His name is Steve Jobs. He tried everything to maintain and move away from his appointed time to die. He went to every guru. He went to every person. He went to every doctor. He had the money for every procedure that was known and unknown. And yet and still, his appointed time to die was written in stone. I mean, I, 
Man, and let me tell you something. I think about uh, if he had done so well and we look up. at well different from God, you better wake up. Why would he want to go ahead and go before God with his word? Like a label, like a sports team. With all the good feeling you know, about the things church, that he's done. So you can have because in our heart, to the we know in this area. But you might be that with the all the philanthropy, as, as they, with all the money, with all the resources, mm -hmm. with you all the kind the gestures, house, you, have you reconciled yourself to the true living God? Doctrine. So I can go to another church that has a I pray that children's program God was gracious enough to give him off, so you can do a time what you want to do, and then you find out that woke him up, that he heard about Jesus, that same choir and that he repented of his sins that you love so and came much, unto Christ. Because if he hasn't, he's on the other side now, and, and his wealth has been passed to others, and he can't take it with him. You done left him right so then the his appointment becomes judgment that will never be and the judgment and becomes complete it, separation from God you get to be one day thrown in the lake of fire that was not too. meant for man mm -hmm. sacrificed your child you know, think, it's think, your choice think about what we just said. You sacrificed your child it's that your choice back to the, the scriptures Instead of looking they for God to bless you with all the material blessings, You're in church with and you have to ask your children, yourself, and you don't care are you truly tapped into you've the blessing a position of you, the sanctified you, you Savior, the, co the, co the Savior that saves all of us with his blood? Are you truly tapped into that? And I what Jimmy to the said, point that it doesn't make a difference what happens next pastor, in the carnal world, but you can say, like Jesus, I have the peace of Christ because he left the peace with me that has overcome the time that I live in. Whether I have, as Paul said, or have not, I have learned to be content. And Jesus is the example because he has overcome the world. It is quite fascinating to me how that when Paul has some logic, some psychological logic to it, and that boy became being tested to, that and really to his validity to of being an apostle. And next thing you know, he's in the man's hotel. He could have performed great miracles wow. before this. He could have done things how, how, beyond how their imagination. And then you blame the victim. He could have raised God, people from the dead. Let me tell you something. But Stop. when he was actually First confronted, lady, pastor, bishop, his statement was, apostle, I'm talking I know that I am an apostle spouse. because I'm suffering when like my Lord, is and he took off his in the church, cloak and raised up his shirt and showed them the beatings and the bruises you back to them. of preaching the gospel. You have just told that person Can you that say the same? Victimizer Are you actually to rain hell so ignorant church, and arrogant and you that don't you want will it, you don't want look at the material things and I say God has blessed you? Like that. Even to the point the church is done. Why is it that Paul's now you have witness was his pain, his suffering, so his stripes? Trying to rewrite and you want your witness to be your abundance, your lavish, and then your food. I'll feel better about what happened. And I'm going to tell that person. Saints of God. If they keep on doing it. And the people who are not you. saved. You need to just shut up. I'm talking to both of you. One of you, you need to quit telling is that truly a warning and you know what that you need salvation. But you have victimized and so the many other, people. There are people that will not go to church you because of your To humble yourself your before the mighty hand of God. Yes. And allow him to they sanctify you out the window. and exalt you. And, I'm just and fully people, participate God out the window. every These day are not in the God. knowledge that you have, that you've learned, These that you committed are, yourself yeah, to, as we learn in Romans 6, people. to what teaching These people are not that is God. in your heart. These people are charlatans. These people are wolves and she's called it. I want to be as serious as Christ possible at all. because right. the real one deal. day, you know, just not like Enoch, who, they're not who they portray to be. Walk with God. Uh -huh. You can learn day how in, to do black day church. out. A righteous man, further and further spiritual in his carnal body, he walk with God. If it's church as usual, and him and God would have God's lunch. Church breakfast and dinner and then he would send Enoch back to be with his family and rest and wake up the next day and go out and walk with God and do whatever Enoch is supposed to do. 
Well, I went to the most popular. And this one day they walked a little bit further. And he's gonna say, and a little bit further. Get away from me! I never. And after Enoch had dinner with God, he knew that God would normally send him back. And then God said, No. Today. I mean, we're actually closer to my house. Even with our church. Why don't you just you know, come on home with well, me? Well, when you gonna have some children's programs? When we go, and he no, was translated, you know, meaning okay, he was this. What about this? made different. I just want to have programs that go out and evangelize. It's in a twinkle in the eye to do that it you will be made different. Right. And you have to decide. That was either it's going to be a joyous thing, if I can, or it's going to be a, a the worst I preach, the children can't hear, I don't need to be eternity mm -hmm. that you could imagine. But the That's choice is problem. yours. We keep trying to get away from the responsibility. We didn't have these babies. We didn't. Have we these build children. our treasures and in you, heaven. Because you didn't have them, and, and you not. Didn't and I want family. to say, and I'm not against you want material, financial, down to the basement, and worldly wealth, so you can as the world would want to give it to you as you have earned. So it. now the churches, and like I say, but I want you to take churches, that in perspective. But too many. One is too many. You cannot You're take them right one iota the fire. of your prestige. Your influence, you're your, wife, you're telling your, wife your arrogance, to talk to these pastors, your bank account, and, 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 and the cars you drive, the houses you have with you to the other side. And present them to a holy God you know that black church as if really accept that even though they're this in the is church, the measure by which women, you will show him and, and then you find out that he is your God. Something that she ain't supposed, that she didn't My question to you, She's saints, where, she got it from is her where are your stripes? Is been sleeping with a whole bunch of men. And, then and my question to, to the people Does she want to who are still him, waiting to, keep to be awake. Look at the stripes time, what they choose, that were the given to you to that you her. might not at that appointed day you know, I mean, this have the judgment is crazy. of guilty and, so, and, so, and no so one to stand I wish people would in your place to fight for you. This is Pastor Jay with Walker Truth Radio Podcast and Senior Pastor of Walker Truth Christian Fellowship Church. I always want to be encouraged and be blessed and be at peace. And always remember, wake up and walk in truth. Peace.